if you want to know how you can create this raw minimal track what the ingredients are i show you in this exact video i make a little break track breakdown and show you exactly what's inside in this track what i used and believe it or not most of it is uh, freeware plugins Ableton Live based plugins or Max for Live devices and um, there is one pay plugin like uh, Reactor 6 uh, from Native Instruments but it doesn't cost you more than 100 bucks I think and but still you don't have to use that you know because my problem personally is often when I watch other music tutorials and whatnot I always found they use some expensive uh, plugins of course you can crack that shit of course right we all know that honestly but um i don't know i'm always afraid that my my computer breaks down on some level with that but um you get the idea right still i i, I hate to search for it and uh, it's always a pain i think to download those kind of things but um with the freeware stuff it's pretty straightforward and also with max for life devices right so if you want to know how i created this track watch this video hope you like it hope it's inspiring hope you find some bits and pieces that you can implement into your very own workflow so let's jump in so yeah, this is the track here. Let's double check if everything is running actually. Right. And as I said, you know, most of it is Max for Life device based uh, freeware plugin. Or um, stock plugins from Ableton itself, you know, or some samples. So I want to make this really accessible to everyone. If you're a beginner or if you're in this for quite a bit, um, I like to limit myself to some stuff, you know, um, and I try to stay a little bit minimalistic, you know. I try to not buy every plugin that I see and um, develop gas which is kind of a gear acquisition syndrome right so you see a tool and then you think okay i need to buy this and that and the other tool that this guy is using and so on right so i want to keep this basic you know and i would encourage you to use what you already have and experiment with that in the first place right so yeah let's start um By the way, the arrangement is not fully developed yet, it's more like a rough arrangement, right? Alright, so let's start here with the uh, bass line. It's pretty basic here. As you can hear, right? What I'm using here is um, Flechtberg, um, and this is a, a Max for Life device. Again, this is free, right? So you can download it on the Max for Life uh, page, and it basically is an emulation of um, or a port to Max for Life uh, from um, Mutable Instruments plates, I think. And you have uh, lots of different settings here. And what I did actually is um i tried to duplicate that a couple of times and creating different wipes for the for the same um for the same midi note here as you can see so let's play that version here and also use the grain delay as you can see and the uh, utility to draw some um modulation volume modulation see Without that, and I send it to a simple reverb. It's also interesting, maybe. Right. 
bit together with this. Right now it doesn't fit the exact um, vibe. So I run with this. I think it was this one, right? Pitch it down pretty, pretty deep. Right, so this is just the top layer. Then I have another instance here, I think. Uh, with the Roser. I got this one from Silapex's, uh, um um tutorial you know i got inspired by that but this again is a is a max for life device that you can download for free right using this again and i also use a gate and as a side side chain input i use the kick which is this one come to this in a minute right it could actually also work you can really play with that maybe create some kind of a little groove here right so those three together this one is uh, Volume automation, so let's go this. Right. Then I have another instance here, a different setting here. Just like a uh, a layer to the second one here, right? Right. All of those. the kick here now this is a DS kick um, and I think this comes with Ableton Live itself if you can't find it let me know in the comment section but basically uh, I think this is a drum synthesizer from Ableton DS kick oh, and then you can find it here right DS drum rack they even have a drum rack and what I really like about this is you can uh, really pitch the kick here a little bit and I adjusted it with some uh, macros here and also added a little EQ here to remove some boxiness right and this is basically the kick right here are the MIDI notes Adjusted some uh, values here, velocity changes. Right. <clears throat> and then um, I pitched it actually to the root node, I think from from the main bass line here, F. So they should harmonize a little bit here. Right. Try to get the groove going on with the kick and the bass. Um, here the the boxiness, right? Removing this. We also could add a clip click if we want to, right? whatever adding more 
Hole Punch. Right. Can really synthesize your very own kick here in a simple way. Um, don't need to don't need to learn a new plugin or whatever, and it's for free. I really like this. Really handy in my opinion. So we have the low end here. And what else? You just a couple of tracks here. And then of course we have the hi-hat. Oh okay. A run here. Hats for days. This is a paid Max for Life device. Um but you don't have to use this one. There are other stuff that you can use actually. But um Right. So this is again Max for Life device. I think it's developed by uh, from the same guy, like this um, Flechtberg, you know, Hatster. And uh, basically, it's very simple. Again, it's a white noise kind of, um, and I added some some macros here to the crucial things like DK, and I also automated that DK. Uh, I think it wasn't this one actually. This one is one. Also have a effects here, right? Little audio chain going on here. Don't know what's inside there. It's a resonator and a grain delay. Pretty simple. Right. Keep this down a little bit and then I have the second one uh, with the automation here. The DK, right? And I'm triggering this one with MD Snake, which is a simple sequencer based on um, on a Eurac module called um, Make Noise Rene, you know. Uh, and I like to add a little bit swing here, right? You can see the automation. Also have the volume automation going on here probably, yes. And if I want more drive, I open it up more. Just like this. So I have this hat, and then I copied it, right? So they interact with each other a little bit. I also sent the second one to the simple reverb here. Alright, without it. See how it drives the DK. If I turn it down now. Right? It's pretty much down here. make it just a little bit snappy if I want it more dynamic I just open it up again pretty simple do I have? I have a really nice clap in my opinion here. 
um, I have a little chain running here which I call snappy dry clap without it added a little bit reverb again to the same um, return channel here triggered it again added a little bit swing here pretty simple and this was created with Emergent Drums AI tool that can generate custom drums um, then I added this chain here green delay here um, here I have a dynamic tube the bias can make it a little bit more crunchy right could even play with that probably erosion overdrive right and then a little bit green delay and I used a little bit of you see minus 0 0.5 in sync time so I have the feeling it gives a little bit of vibe a little bit of uh, swing tiny little bit you know just in the background hey friend I'll jump back into the video in a second but before we do so I want to say thank you thank you that you watched so far really this means a lot I wouldn't make this those videos if no one would watch so you watch this for so I want to reward that and I want to give you something for free which is my Ableton Live one tool preset pack so this is basically Ableton Live based stock pack those are basically presets you know that you can drag and drop into your uh, channels let's jump quickly in and see some examples how this can help you out and how it can inspire you and then we jump back to the content thanks for watching pretty different right those are little sound design tools to keep you going hopefully go and grab it for free let's make this a little bit dirtier maybe right automated another tool here right Pretty simple. Again, those are not the, the most complicated whatever tools. They are simple, straightforward tool to make a little bit of impact to add uh, those little things that I like to talk all the time in my videos, which is add things that you can feel but not hear, you know. So that's the sound, right? Clean and nice. And now let's transform it with those tools. Of course we want some additional grooves, right? Now you can transform shit pretty easily with those tools. It lets you really tweak stuff, you know, that's my whole point. It's not the fanciest shit, but it's quick and an easy fix and that inspires you, you know? Combine it, add more stuff add more tools and it keeps you going i hope so hope it does you know so let's add some stuff to this maybe we'll right let's make quick a b sounds pretty different right those are little sound design tools to keep you going hopefully go and grab it for free I also want to show what's possible with one simple, simplistic, minimalistic tools, you know, where you can transform your shit with stock plugins. So yeah, if you want that, grab it on the link below. Thanks for watching, now let's get back to the, to the content.
right? This one I'm not using. We have all that stuff going on here. Right. Then we have some glitches, I think. So here I have some simple stuff going on. This is a simple sap sound. Right. It plays kind of uh, different uh, pitches here. And I as added also fracture, which which is also a free plugin from Glitch Machines without it. Right. Doesn't really mix adds too much to the sound, but just a little bit in the background. Um makes it a little bit wider, I have the feeling, right? And added some little micro glitches here and there. Um, I keep this short, subtle. Right. Then I have some fills here with some samples. The pitch down a little bit. Another one here. Another one here. And I sent this to the creative return. So basically, it's not really creative, it's just a grain delay and an echo. Right. So those are the sounds uh, without that. With that creative sound. Right. Without it. Makes a kind of a ping pong sound here, ping pong delay, but it's more like an echo, right? Um, yeah, I sent this to that, to that return to return channel. Those uh, little effect sounds here. Very subtle in the background. Then what else? Here I have some glitches and saps and whatnot. sending this to the same so what I have running here is a sampler with some different samples in it and then I mark all of them and select distribute range equally right so it gets distributed all over the values here and then um, I use 
the sample selector and map it to a macro like here and then I use a LFO here to sample select in random right so you get random glitches here small little bits and pieces right also played a little bit here inside the sampler the pitch envelope sometimes you get the also really interesting results you actually could send this also with an LFO maybe to add even more um, variation I use the spread here right you can automate whatever you want here maybe inside the sampler so just use the main sample and then you have different uh, tabs here filter you see I also automated that I use the sharper here where you can use different um, types here I don't know if this is a clipper or something like that right sometimes you get really interesting results keep it simple here and I have filter envelope here could also play around with that a little bit or maybe send it to another LFO right here we have some other modulation if you want to use that instead of a LFO I like to use the LFO here because then I can also modulate the macro here but you can totally do it in here and um, send it to different values here maybe actually it's here right here and then you can assign different stuff here so for example um, panorama do this in random set an amount here so now it goes left and right and whatever right different volumes so you can do a lot of micro um, adjustments inside the sampler itself right for some glitches or whatever you want uh, really powerful in my opinion this is Ableton right very simple straightforward I like it so I sent this again did I already tell that? Tell that that's to, to this chain again. Um, yeah, and that's basically the whole story here. Using MD Snake again to trigger it, right? Without this. And I have more, some more glitches here. Just a couple of those. Um, playing it just by gut, you know. Just tested some pattern here out. Probably could improve that a little bit. Maybe I can also send this to the creative channel here. But I think it's it's a little bit overdone in that case, right? want it a little bit tighter here so 
we have two glitches kind of those two then I have some little texture stuff here it's a wavetable little preset I don't want to go too deep into this you can hear what it plays it's really just some filler to glue the, st the stuff a little bit better together to fill it up a little bit without it so kind of a texture you know so you can use whatever you want for texture your noise um, people talking atmos whatever really everything works in my opinion and uh, here comes reactor some bell kind of sound I also experimented with Ableton stuff but I didn't really like that or couldn't really found something so I opted for a reactor here in the factory library and then I went to synthesizer and this is steam pipe to give a little bit of a darker feeling right and here I experimented I'm not sure about this you know I think it doesn't fit into this particular track here but I like the sound. Maybe I use it for later in another track, maybe. It's also a steam pipe. So my approach would be, I like that, I came up with that, but I think it doesn't really fit into this particular track here. So what I, what I would do is um, simply save this project file as a new file and then use this as a new starting point for another track, right? So we already have something created. I would probably delete the rest or maybe keep some of that. Um, so if you want to create an EP that has a similar vibe to it, you already have um, some kind of a similarity, you know. It's not the exact same sound, of course, but um, some kind of similarity, you know what I mean, right? Um, just keeping one little piece and then start from there again. Uh, so yeah, that's the thing here. And here another glitch stuff here Skinner box thing this is basically just a randomized um, sequence here that you can use just push a couple of times on this smiley and this is another synthesizer subharmonic just played around with the formant I think and animal mount pitch maybe right and kept everything short here to add some blobs some glitches whatever um, there's not really a reverb on it For the glitches and stuff, I like to keep it a little bit more tighter, right? Here I have some simple percussions here, Ableton Live again, 
stuck plugin. Can hear an example over here. I think I experimented here a little bit with some shakers and stuff. Out the track. Um, let me see. Very simple. Actually, as is a little groove template here. Um, right, without it. do we have here yeah another texture sound here triple cheese freeware plugin right with the sting plugin again and um, the scale plugin so I run this on every channel in this particular track here so I keep the notes in intact right Then I have some vintage again, some acoustic drums here now and then, some fills here, some toms. Right, some rides. This comes with Ableton Vintage Funky Good Time. Sounds good. Right. Just spreading it here and there. And what else do I have here actually? Yeah, another random stuff here, kind of textures. And I basically try to randomize everything on this flex track, you know frequency, the different um, engines here, timber, harmonics, morph, everything that I could, you know. Uh, then I add the chorus here, play it again, MD Snake, um, some EQing and Fracture to add a little bit of uh, glitches, whatever. And I also sent it to this creative thing here. So I get some random stuff here going on in the background. Here on the LFO, you see a random setting. If I want, I could also randomize this one, the notes or the direction, playback. So I get some random stuff going on here in the background, some little bits and pieces to fill up the track. And then I have a simple um yes, yeah, sample loop here. Right. To add a little bit drive.
And I have some effects here. Another one. Created those with some cutting and resampling. Um, then I have some perks here. Also a loop. Grain delay on it. Here I automated the feedback a little bit. Right. Cut out the lows because there is no need for low end in my opinion. Yeah, as I said, the arrangement is not finished yet, and I totally need to work on this break and whatnot, so this is really rough, you know. We need some build up and whatnot, some swirls and evolving textures and stuff. But just that you get the idea, and uh, hopefully, being able to inspire you a little bit. Here again, maybe. And then I probably opened up here those hats again. DK, right? probably would add here another percussion element or bring in <coughs> or bring in another one um, yeah but I hope you get the idea and again this is pretty simple you know and I try to use simple tools that everyone has access to even if you're a beginner just downloaded Ableton Live and want to experiment within this genre um, you can download all those tools for free triple cheese the only one is uh, the paid one is is a uh, native instruments reactor but uh, you can substitute this of course with other stuff um, yeah hope this was helpful hope this was fun and as an action step I would say simply keep it simple and work with what you already have experiment max those tools out there's no need in my opinion to obtain too many stuff you know too many gear um yeah as you can hear if you like that stick to what you have and implement some stuff if you feel bored with your current tools but um yeah <coughs> hope this was helpful hope to see you next week thanks for watching thanks for your time cheers bye bye